What's up y'all, it's your boy Hero Bishop and today I'm checking out that DC Black Label Ann Collins, whoops I don't even know who Ann Collins is but this ain't Ann Collins it's Nancy Collins Swamp Thing Omnibus super stoked about this for me, the best Swamp Thing writers are Alan Moore Ann Collins and Scott Snyder so had to have this man this was a whale for a while didn't think they were gonna print it again but guess what they did stay tuned these action figures on my shelf man they drive the ladies crazy Look, oh, I'm watching comic book movies so they wanna have my baby Look, oh, look, oh. Now, this thing is just barely under a thousand pages. I think it was 998 or 89 or something like that. Can't remember, but I guess what? It's almost a thousand pages. Cover price of 125 in the US, 163 in Canada. I think I got this, I think I ordered this from Organic Press Books, so. Anyway, from the critically acclaimed Bram Stoker award-winning horror novelist Nancy A. Collins, you know I love the sound of that. Half your run on Swamp Thing, collected for the first time ever. Returning Swamp Thing to his southern gothic horror roots. John Constantine, baby. Anyway, if you want to read all that, you can see everybody who's on it. And I'm glad we got that black label, baby. Sun, right here, right here, looking good. Nice cover. Get this dust jacket off right quick. We got that nice sewn in binding right there. But it looks like it's glued too. So maybe they double whammied it. I don't know. Take a look at that spine. Anyway. Swamp thing, baby. I like that cover. I like how they switched up the artwork on it. And we got that plain black. But let's take a look at the inside. You know I already pre-stretched the uh, spine on this. Because man, y'all don't want to watch me do that. We got Scott Eaton. Damn. There's a lot of cats up in here. If you want to check out all these letters. Go ahead and pause that because I know y'all don't want me to just sit here and read this off all day bro where's the damn uh, affordable swap thing statue by the way I know like XM Studios and all them cats got a bunch of really expensive ones but where's where's the uh, you know 100 to 300 dollar range swamp thing statue but here you go pause that if you want to read that Bunch of Nancy Collins goodness. Uh, we got a little intro right here. Look like some comic pages or a letter. Oh, Stuart Moore, editor. And then we go in, dude. I like how they kept with that Alan Moore era type of artwork. Good horror filled stuff. Is that JC? I don't know. Um, a lot of people don't really like this type of old school coloring, man, but I thought it was kind of cool. Sometimes it looks shitty, like in some of the old Constantine books, but for the most part, it turns out pretty good. Some of those older Constantine books have like the best stories, but some wild coloring and art in them, but kind of took them a while to work it out, man. Kind of took them a while to work it out. Got some dope. What is that? The Unman, I think. Almost look like your boy Swamp Thing's crying. Okay. Nice little pin up. Cover looking shit. Here's some more art on the side. I like that. Uh, I wonder how, how far into her run the, uh, the art kind of gets. If it kind of gets updated a little. Or how much it really changes. And I think this era was... 
like you've seen on the back, had the real great painted sort of covers on it. Uh, we got we got a little white border around here to keep from that gutter loss happening. And you can see they, they did it on both sides, so that's cool. Some more cool artwork on these sides of the thing. Damn, bro. Brush some teeth, boy. Let's see. Hey, no offense to you, man. If you're, anybody out there, if you're missing teeth, dog, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing against you, bro. Except maybe instead of buying comic books and statues and shit, you might need to hit the dentist. But hey, man, just floss, bro. Floss. But I still love you. I don't care if you ain't got a tooth in your head. What's up, baby? It's Nerd Gang. I love y'all, man. Anybody who tunes into my channel, bro. Nerd Gang, baby. I try to remember to say that, man. I'm try. I'm trying to make that a thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> gang, gang. Nerd gang. Yeah. Let's see real quick if we got. Whoa, shit! What's going on right here with your boy, dog? He got that Swamp Thing headdress popping. I wonder. Yeah, dude. Check out these covers, bro. Like. He's like, when, when Fool started painting these covers, dude. When Fool started painting these covers, super dope. And it doesn't have, like, the actual, like, issue names and stuff. I guess it just has the paintings or the covers to mix it up. But that's still cool. Oh, here we go. Maybe it does. Oh, hell. It's my boy JC, but uh, yeah, man. At the risk of uh, taking ten hours showing you the whole book, I'm just gonna uh, flip to the back. Unless y'all want me to, man. Let me know in the comments, bro. If y'all want, to, if y'all think I need to, if you want me to go slower on these and show more pages in these overviews. But I just try to go through and get a general sense of like what the covers are looking like, and what kind of extra stuff is in the back. Yeah, here's some of those paintings, dude. That's iconic, bro. Let me get a statue of that, dude. Some more paintings. Those are cool. I'm trying to keep that light glare off of there. We got some more, uh, what is that, an afterword or something, JC, what's up? Some sketches. So yeah, definitely cool. Looking forward to reading this. Didn't read it all, but I read some of it when I was a kid, and definitely dope. Man, when I'm stretching my spines, bro, I'm kind of messing up my books, so. But that's okay, because I do not plan on reselling this. If you want to win my 500 subscriber 90s giveaway. Whoa, bro, it's the 90s. Early 2000s, too, sorry. Just go on, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment on this video and you may be picked. Much love and respect. Peace.